Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Yes, we are a bit behind. I want to apologize. We have been extremely busy with consultations, with readings, with healings, with everything you guys. If you guys are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to start booking as we are now booking for June and July. Quickly booking I should say. So just putting it out there. Okay, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. This is going to be for you, my lovelies. Uh, sun, moon, and rising, uh, and Venus. In regards to love and romance. All right, your cards is getaway, love, and community. That of your partner or the person of your interest. They have power. Stillness, ooh, two opposites, and blessings, okay. All right, let's see. All right, so Sagittarius, um, for those of you guys that are currently single, what they're asking here is that there is a need for you to disconnect. Um, disconnect in the sense of, as an example, if you tend to be on social medias, if you tend to be on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, that type of thing. Uh, what Spirit is telling you is that there is a need for you to come to terms or to be connected with your element. Um, there is a need, the getaway card usually indicates going to nature or having the need to ground ourselves. You also have love. So I feel that with this love and community card, this is definitely telling you uh, to be wise about the people that you uh, surround yourself with, Sagittarius, it's very important to really have a very positive, um, positive uh, people around you that really help you and that ultimately have the best of your interests at heart. Um, this is an indication of having the need to cut out toxic people or people that are no longer uh, helping you in your growth and in your advancement. Now, the cards of the partner that you're interested in or that you're currently dealing with, we have the power card. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where there is a power struggle, uh, meaning whether you're the male or female, it's almost like there is a constant competition between you two. The stillness card is there is a need for your partner uh, to really let go of expectations or let go of whatever they would consider um, people looking at them or judging them. I think that they put a lot of importance in that. And with the stillness card, there is a need to balance. Uh, it's okay if we are, you know, we are all powerful creatures and, um, humans are extremely powerful. Um, but there is also a need of humility. And I think that, uh, the person that you're dealing with or the person, uh, your partner, uh, may have ego tendencies where they tend to think that they are untouchable or they tend to think that they are better than other people. And what they're saying here is that should this person or your partner learn to balance that and learn to uh, just as they take uh, to actually give, their blessings will be multiplied. Uh, and this is in every aspect. And keep in mind, Sagittarius, this is a general reading. So this can represent you, not just your partner. What they're saying here is that it is very important to count our blessings, not only when we feel that we're bountiful or not only when we feel uh, that we're blessed, but even through difficulties, it's important to count our blessings, not to look up at the sky and say, why me? Um, because... If life was meant to be completely rosy, we would never truly appreciate when we're doing good. So what they're saying here is that there needs to be an exchange of gratitude as well as balance and humility. Like I said, this could be for you, Sagittarius, or this could be your partner as well. Um, now, I do want to mention with the blessings card, I, I feel that there is going to be a bit of surprises coming for you guys in the month of June. Um, now, these blessings could be in the material aspect. It could be monetary compensation. It could be a lot of winnings. It could also represent money that is unexpected. Uh, 
unexpected that may be given to you, may be connected to raises or just money that's been pending that perhaps if you've been going through court issues or anything like that and because of what's going on worldwide, there is like a stop to it. I see that in the month of June, there's going to be progress and there's going to be movement in regards to that and blessings being bestowed upon you. So like I said, Sagittarius, I think that the primary message here for all of you guys out there is to count your blessings and to count your blessings even more when we're going through difficulties because you are echoing what you want the universe to return to you. And the more thankful you are, the more your heart is full with gratitude, the more uh, you acknowledge that, the more the universe is going to echo back, giving you circumstances and situations that make you feel more bountiful or more blessed. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.